What up, people? It's Nick Ops here with the best Mean Street Cabal, in my opinion, Love Thoughts. <laughs> Introduce yourself. What up, what up? That's it? That's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> Love Thoughts, and we're going to be showing you how to... Well, he's going to be showing you how to play Mean Street Cabal. And... You know, I feel like that us Cabal players get too comfortable in our variations and should learn the mix of variations we play up. So, being a person who plays clean cut a lot and knowing most of the Cabal community plays clean cut a lot, I feel like a guide from the best Mean Street Cabal could definitely help, you know, people if they want to get into this variation. And like I said, so people don't go at him. I think he's the best cabal in the world in general, not just the mean street. So let's get right into this. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure, bro. <laughs> All right. First off, let me set up the gauge meters because this is what you're going to do. If you're trying to learn mean street cabal, you want to go to practice and put that meter on full. So once you've done that, you can start Get doing down. that. <laughs> Get this down. Now, off of every string. Did they fix the input? Let's check that real quick. Oh, they finally fixed the input it. Input should be still the same. Yeah. No, because remember when the dash cancel was saying it was R1, like back R1 or something? Mm -hmm. They finally fixed it. All right. So, should we turn on the frame data too? Yeah, yeah. Let's just do that. Cause that's important. <laughs> All right. So first thing, show us the main B and B with Cabal. Okay, B and B Cabal. Actually, this is optimal, <laughs> and that's one meter. Mhm. Mm um, B and B. Usually, you're gonna find yourself like this. So about two ninety damage, which is pretty good. Okay. And that's a B and B. Of course, you can start off with this as well and do the rinse and repeat. But the most optimal is jump in, stand for EX buzzsaw, and finish it off with a four three, and that's three forty five for one bar. Pretty juicy. All right. So being a clean cut player, we are used to picking the size we want to put the combo on. Like, can Mean Streak? do that as well or keep that same side mm -hmm. so if you wanted to keep that same side um obviously the balls uh looks put you in that in an opposite direction but if so say if i got you uh in the corner and i wanted to keep you there i would usually just end it off in a uh, jumping kick into two two uh one for a hard knockdown Okay, so show everyone the specific B and B to keep the same side mid screen. Well, keeping the same side would be um, a normal B and B like that. Mm -hmm. But to switch sides, you would have to go like this. Oops, one second. And that's three hundred two. So you lose out on, on about 30% damage or 3% damage, but I mean, mm -hmm. to switch the side, it's it's definitely worth it or to be able to. All right. So just my usually enders are, uh, are this right here. If I wanted to keep the side. All right. So did you already show the BNB off of this as well? This right here? Yeah, so BNB and four. Love that combo. Yeah, super smooth. 290, pretty solid damage. Alright, time to embarrass myself. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I've been playing um the other MK, so tried to meet around R2 right there, but boom. Very fun combo to do. Mm -hmm. So now that we got the B and B out of the way, let's discuss next the cancel pressure. Pretty sure what everybody's here for. Mm -hmm. The cancel pressure. So what is your mentality behind the cancel pressure? All right. So 
my mentality with the cancel pressure <coughs> is I get more options off of it than clean cut. So obviously clean cut doesn't have the cancel abilities. He just has the mix, but what Mean Streak has is the ability to cancel oh, ability the ability to cancel and then grab. Or the ability to cancel and, and go low or complete the string or cancel and walk backwards. It really he has a lot of options. Cancel jump. Just a lot of options with this. Mm hmm So what do you feel like people should be going for when they do the cancel initially? So my initial um game plan is to get into the once I get into the opponent, I mm -hmm. do uh or to to cancel and to grab just to test out the uh, opponent. Hold up. And if I notice that the opponent is respecting the grab, um, that lets me know that they they respect the cancel. So then I could just continue to just overwhelm them with with throws and stuff like that. And then once they get a little antsy, they're like, okay, all right, I'm gonna start mashing out of this. So go ahead and when I do the cancel, just go ahead and do a um, a down poke, okay? Alright. So if you get the timing right, you can uh, punish the down one. There you go. And it's their crushing blow. So that's when they start uh, disrespecting the cancels. So, also as a mean streak main, you want to keep in mind that hit confirming off of everything is very important. Hit confirm you off the of back one, back one two even. Um, hit confirms are, are everything in this variation. You want to be able to make yourself safe and not just do a random input error and, and get punished. Mm -hmm. So now that's question. Really a, a key thing. Can you hit confirm off of this? Yeah, you can hit and confirm on, off of everything. So go ahead and go ahead and let's test this out. All right. Got the spins. Oops, that didn't come up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so that gives you a nine frame hit confirmable mid. If you master plus it. Plus one. Plus one on block. And then you can also hit confirm off of this right here. That string, which is pretty hard. You have to really be focused. And I'm talking about the last hit of the overhead. Oops, my bad. So it, it always block the uh, back one, but okay. let go of block at, at, at um, two, okay? All right. This is a tough one. This is a really tough one. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. This is, it's really tough. It's really tough. Oh wait, I messed up right there. You can do it. See okay. That? So that essentially gives you a safe 50-50 if you master the cancel. Mm hmm yeah. Hit confirming is everything. I did not know that. See that? Hit confirm. Hit confirm. So... See that? One more time, you want me to get hit, block the first one, and then randomly guess the second one. Just to show yeah, them. Yeah, randomly get hit. If you want All to right. get hit by the overhead, then, you know. So. See, you're doing it every time. That is kind of ridiculous. The potential of this variation. Yeah, hit confirm is everything. So definitely, if you want to learn Mean Streak, you gotta go and practice and go <laughs> go practice that because that's the main thing right there. So that is the main thing that. How can we say? That's Love Thoughts' opinions on the cancel or how you should be using it. Now we're gonna talk about. What cancels you should be using on block and everything? 
what I mean by that specifically is when you do a string, what are the best strings to do the cancel off of mm -hmm. that you prefer? Now that we understand okay. your the way that you use the cancel, what are the strings that you prefer to use the cancel off of? Okay, so I guess my go-to is uh, my trusty back one cancel. Yeah. It's I think it's just the best, and of all the cancels, uh, back one is the best. Not only is it easier to hit confirm, but it leaves you in a perfect range. Look at this range right here. That's the cabal one, range. You know? This is the cabal range right here. I'm plus one still, so I can just grab, or I can fade a poke out, jump. I can do I can do anything I want at this range. I'm plus one. Everything's good, and I can hit confirm that. You know, so back one is really good. And if the opponent is not ready for the matchup, because because usually cabals are gonna go into that, right? They're gonna go into that, mm -hmm. or they're gonna go into this and that. Uh, so back one, back one gives you a perfect space to hit confirm, or you can do a back one grab. You can really do anything at this space, and with back one, you're able to hit confirm a lot better. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, I think it's just a lot easier to do. Um, but you got plenty of options off of back one. You can either just continue the string and just be safe in general. Hit confirm and you're left at plus one with this awesome space for a down four or something like that. Or you can just jump. You know, you have you have a lot of options as as the back one. Um the second uh string to cancel off of is you'll see me do over two two, which is plus one on block. Um however a lot of people do disrespect that one if they know the matchup. So usually I'll catch them off guard with a low with a low saw just to throw them off. Okay. Um also, uh, forward two is really good because it's plus three on block. So if the opponent is just mashing, you know, you could do that. Another one, I would say probably the last uh, cancel one that's that's really important is the one one one. So this is a deceiving one because it's zero. Well, go ahead and block. So the last uh, string that I like to use to cancel is uh, one one one. Which is zero on block. Um, the reason why this is so good is because obviously this is negative five after, but when you're zero on block, you're a lot of people are not respecting that. So you can go in for a down one, or if they are respecting it, you can just grab them. Or I like to throw out the low bus all afterwards and catch them. But those are the three main strings that I like to use as far as canceling. Mm hmm. All right, so a question. Is there ever a reason just to let this fly if you feel like they're gonna try to disrespect the cancel? Do you ever just, you know, got them blocked and just, just like, let it go? nope, <laughs> yep. Like don't disrespect um, my cancel. Or do you feel like you know it's not worth it? I think that it's not worth it, but I'm sure I've met, I've dropped the cancel before, and and it ended up working, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> but for the most part, yeah, I don't think you should do it. I think it's a, I mean, it's possible, but but I, right. I it's usually just an input error. So that's not the mentality you have when you're doing a cancel, because the other no, no, cabal that's... players I see, that's the mentality they have. Like I'm gonna let it rock, or you're just gonna be afraid of it. <laughs> I'm for real. Nah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not, that's not my mentality, at least. All right, and it's a little too risky. So, with and another thing. So, if you're choosing, if you're choosing to not do the cancel, sometimes. Does the cancel actually condition the opponent? What I mean by that is block real quick. So let's just say you got somebody conditioned the whole time that you're going to do this. Can you get away with just staggering this if they think that the cancel is going to come after? Uh, you can. I think that as in, especially in clean cut, you can stagger that. It's negative three on block, so going for a down poke if you're feeling risky or... This is negative two. 
Like if you don't have any cancels, I would just go for this. Leaves you in a perfect space. Down four maybe. You can cancel that, hold up, and then do a diagonal saw. Oh, uh, so you you could definitely can get away with that. What I'm more talking about specifically is staggers. Okay. Well, yeah, because my thing with okay. Cabal is I feel like in clean cut, Cabal, he always has to stop. That's the thing mm. that I feel holds clean cut back of it. Because if you do this with Cabal or whatever you want to do, like you're always, people don't realize about Cabal is yes, he's safe, but against a good player, they will always know how to take their turn against Cabal. And Cabal has yeah, exactly. to stop a lot. But against mm. Mean Streak, you, he gets to go a bit more. It's still not as much, but you know, there are more mind games instead of, hey, I'm playing um, clean cut and then I just did this or whatever and now I'm done. Like, okay, you block mm. that. If you got six frame poke, it's definitely your turn. Or yeah, it's or your turn in general. Like, he mm. has to stop. So, yeah. the thing I'm wondering is, let's just say I'm doing this a lot. Is this an actual mix up? So, let's just say. You know, I'm conditioning, I'm conditioning you with these or whatever. And then do, is there a guess to where like, okay, is he going to cancel after that or what? Or do you get uh, what I'm I trying to that, say? Yeah, yeah, I get you. Um, usually that just depends on if, if your opponent is respecting you. So mm -hmm. you can get away with this stagger. This is negative three in general. So it, this is a perfect stagger by itself. Um, especially when you have this option. You know, I think that this is a perfect stagger, but it's even better as a stagger when you cancel it because you're plus. And in this, in that situation, I was plus two. Um, Cabal has great staggers though. She, he doesn't only need the the cancel just to stagger. He has this, of course. He has one one, and a lot of people are are respecting that one one one. So if you just do one one and then to grab, yeah, a lot of people like that. Mm -hmm. Or you could just stagger the forward four, which is negative four, and it leaves you in a good spacing. All right. Um. Back one is also negative three on block. Good stagger. So you don't necessarily need the cancels. Um, you can you can still pretty much hold your stagger game with with the certain other things. Okay. So now let's show them the um, anti air conversions that you're gonna want to get with Cabal. So I want to jump okay. at him. So we we can start with doing stand ones. And of course, Cabal's jump in kick is really good to a uh, really hard to answer. So, but uh, even with that, he still has some options. So go ahead. Mm -hmm. Damn, well, that's more. <laughs> that's way more consistent. Yep. Down so let me try with the standing light now. So what I tend to do with Cabal and the other variation is I will stand and light it. Try it. That is good. <laughs> Both of his jump in. So I will stand and yeah. light it and then dash forward a bit and then do that. Uh -huh. So I don't know if that's the main thing you want to do in this variation too. Yeah. Pretty much the same. I think down three is a really good answer as well for those. Mm -hmm. Just because it gets you so low to the ground. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think his, his go to anti air is down three. All right, so that covers the anti airs. Now, another question. With this right here, why don't you see Cabal players doing this a lot? Because this is most plus cancel. So, yeah. well, not Cabal players. Even you, as a mean streak player, I don't see you doing this a lot. So. Yeah. I why is that? It, I think the reason why I don't use it is just because it's so slow on startup. 25 mm -hmm. frames. That that's fat, That's slower than his freaking dash. You know. Oh yeah, that's kind of. But nice. um, it's really good. I mean, I'm not gonna knock it. I think it's it's still really good. Um, I, I just think that you can get away with throwing it out a couple times, but it's it's just really too slow to just consistently do that. But it's um, definitely hit confirmable. Yeah, definitely hit confirmable and and also I th I feel like it whips a lot on some characters. Like if you just down poke that, 
All right, let me try to time it. Oh, like you, right get stop, you get stopped the frames. See that? Yeah, that kind of sucks. And wait, do it from a certain range, like right there. Like, yeah. All right, jab him out of it. Yeah. Yeah. So nah. I just think that it's not. Yeah. It's not worth it. I mean, yeah, you're plus six on block, but it, it's just not worth it. I think. Okay. It, it doesn't leave you. I mean, yeah, it's good, but I just I don't use it that often. All right, and now we're getting towards the end of the video. So, for the people out there who are playing clean cut a lot, and you think that they could be good with Mean Streak, what is the main quality that you think somebody who plays Mean Streak should have? Is it just hit confirming, or what is the main thing? Like, let's just say okay. there's a mean, a clean cut player, and they say, I want to play mean streak and then the mm -hmm. sentence starts off hold up before you play mean streak just know what would you say yeah yeah okay so I, like i said in the beginning hit confirms is everything mm -hmm. especially in this variation you always want to buffer your strings into the nomad dash because it's either a full combo or if they block it you're plus you know so number one go into practice mode learn those uh hit confirms and then uh, the second thing I would do is, of course, know the BNBs, um, know your character's limits as far as like the spacings, how far the back run goes, how far the uh, down four is, know the frame data of Cabal, of his cancels, and just really, I think it really comes down to just the uh, hit confirming, mm -hmm. hit confirming off of everything, the EX. EX air bus saw. Want to do some instant airs too. All right, so that's basically almost everything you need to know about Mean Street. So let's recap. Your hit confirms got to be on point. We showed you the BNBs. Um, Love Thoughts has explained the mentality behind the way he plays it different than other mean street and obviously it's working because he's the highest ranked mean streak and in my opinion the best cabal and <laughs> thank you thank you yeah i got you you know it's me saying it by the way <laughs> let me point that out it's not him and yeah so cabal obviously a space and heavy character you want to make sure your spacing is right mm -hmm. um he can get away with jumping, to be honest, because jump jump, two. use jump two. Jump his three is really is good. good. Jump two. Uh -huh. And solid anti-airs. You can anti-air with. Keep jumping at me. With the jumping, you can anti-air with that. Great anti-airs. Like this right here, and that right there. Down three. And just get all the conversions down that we showed you off of those. Why is it not working out? Okay, there yeah, there it goes. And also, another thing that we forgot to mention, Cabal is really good at trip guarding, too, because of the range on this. Like, uh -huh. if you jump in, try to jump at me with the jump, too, let's see if he can, yep, he can trip guard his own jump, too, if you do it right. Let me try it again. Yep. And a little tip for yeah, that BNB. When you do this BNB, the way I prefer to do it, is to dash up a bit. Like, after it hits, we'll get the dash in. Yep. Got to dash a lot in that BNB. And a lot of people yeah. don't really realize get that. Get as close as possible. Mm -hmm. And I think we got it all. That basically covers That's how it. to play. That's Cabal, the, the neutral monster. Yep. Him great and Cassie, spacing. in my opinion. Mm hmm. Great spacing, great damage, solid mids, plus frames, good good zoning. You know, I think this character has it all. And that's basically how you play Cabal, Mean Street. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out Love Thoughts channel. I'll have it in the description. 
And yeah, you got anything to say, Love Dogs? No, just look forward to more gameplay. And uh, learn Cabal. He's very fun. Very mm -hmm. good player. And if y'all want us to make different videos on different topics about Cabal, just let us know. I'm pretty sure Love Thoughts would be down for that. Mm -hmm. And of course. Yeah, that's basically it. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Twitch and my Patreon. And Nick Ops out.